All right, so the number one thing that we wanna to learn today is how to create your own customized link tree for your Instagram to start driving that traffic to your website instead of giving away those free clicks to link tree or link bio that you probably are using now as most of us are. And as you know, to get the customized link tree, you're paying like, money every month so you can totally do this for free keep all those clicks within your own website and start converting that traffic and make some money and we all need that right now in the situation that we're in so what i want to do today is walk you through a couple of options of easy ways to do this so a couple of easy things i'm going to share my screen so i can walk you through it now i am going to show you how to do this if you are on Squarespace. Now, this is totally applicable to Wix and also WordPress as well. So I'm gonna walk you through mine, which is a Squarespace-based website. And what I'm gonna show you is quickly how to do this. So if you come to your homepage in Squarespace, similar for WordPress and Wix, under your pages, you're going to click. Now, not under your primary navigation, those are the main things that show up on your tab, you're gonna go down to Not Linked Pages. Now, I've already created mine, which I'll show you in a second, called Insta Link links, but I want to show you what to do first. So you're going to pick a new page. All you're going to do is create it as blank and you're going to title that new page, whatever you want to do. So we're just going to call that Instagram test right now. And that's going to take you to a bland, brand new blank canvas where you can start editing. Now, the easiest way to do this, if you don't want to use Canva is to go right into your actual page and you're gonna click your buttons, which most of you have, WordPress is similar, and you have all of your options here. So you can add an image if you'd like to add a small image of yourself, the same way it shows up in Linktree, go ahead and add that there. But the easy way to add the clickables that I'm gonna show you what it looks like on Instagram shortly is actually just making buttons. So you can go ahead and do these buttons now with whatever you want them to be titled. So new offer, could be here, go ahead and enter your website and then pick your size. I'd go for large if you could, just so it stands out a little bit more. You always want it aligned to the center and you're going to apply. Now, the problem with this is you probably have your buttons preset in your computer to be a certain color. So this is not going to give you as much customization, but it will be in line with your website and your design. So after you save that and go through and you can create as many buttons as you want. So keep going. You could add even at the bottom of this, a custom uh, email subscription because it's yours you can customize this clickable any way that you want to so pretty simple but I want to show you if you want to do a fully customized one like I've already done I want to show you how that looks because that is what I did with Insta links and this is what is on my profile Kristen Crowley TV right now so I did the top banner here which is actually the header of my actual page and I did it as it looks on Linktree. So you can see KC Media, WellFit Social, and Reframe. Now I was able to fully customize these buttons so you can see the difference. And this is a much nicer look. It's cleaner, it's fully customizable. I added in a full subscription here so you can email me. So like I said, this is a very nice way to do it. So let's take a look at how to do that on Canva. So if you're going to create this design, you're gonna to wanna to create a new design and it's going to be custom dimensions so there are two options for these buttons if you like a skinny button you're going to do 800 by 100 and create that design so that's going to give you the look of the thin rectangle that you see on link tree now so you can do that they have all sorts of options in canva that you can customize yourself or you just go ahead and plop your text in that you normally do and you get to work. The good thing about this is that you can actually take this in Canva, add your headings. You can also go in and go ahead and add all of your logos. So if you want to, we have three different businesses. So I can add the KC. So I know that this is for that part of my website. And then if I'm doing something where I'm sending someone to our reframe website, I would just go ahead and use that as a customization instead. So you're gonna just keep doing this and adding new pages and creating your buttons, simple to save. And then I'll show you how to put those back in in a minute. If you want to make these a wider looking button, your dimensions on that are going to be 450 times 100. So we're going to just resize and that gives you a thicker button. So you're gonna see, I like the look of this because it gives you a little padding on either side. And when you change the colors on here, it gives you a nice look. So this is a clean way to do it. Now you're gonna go through, 
you're going to save everything. I do suggest that you save at your highest pixels here so that you get the best um, look. And of course, you're going to want high quality image is what you're going to want to save because you don't want these to look obviously look crappy when you get to that point. So you're going to download those and save them. And then you're going to come back to your website. And just like I did before, you're going to go in, but instead of doing the buttons that I showed you, you're just going to edit your page. And you're going to use the same clickable here, but instead you're just going to add the image and the image is going to be this button. And then when you get to this button, obviously, once you place it in, you go ahead and just go under your design and you put your clickable here to hyperlink that picture. So when it shows up on someone's phone from your Instagram link, then you are done. So the best part about this is once you get this all finished and everything is saved, you can go ahead and take this link that you have created, which mine is kristencrowley.com slash insta links. And you go ahead and we're gonna actually go jump over to Instagram real quick and I'll show you that you put that in to your header here. So in my bio, all I did was switch this out and this is what it looks like when you get to Instagram. Now on here, obviously we're on a desktop, so it's not gonna look the same. As you know, most of your traffic comes from people's cell phone on your Instagram links, but it'll show up like this and it has all the buttons. And obviously all of those buttons are clickable and you can go ahead and go right to wherever you want to send them. This is my blog that I just did on home content. You can sign up for more fun stuff. And that is it. So very, very simple to do, very easy to save. And I also wanted to show you that right now I am going to do this COVID-19 media coaching special. So that is one of my buttons. So I just did that. And also if you go into that page, you will see that I'm offering another special to go along with this Instagram promotion. So if you're here, you can go through and there's going to be another blog that's going to be coming up very shortly once I post it. And it will offer a um, very low cost way for you to get these customized buttons done for you. So I will be posting that information as well so that you can go ahead and see everything that is on there. So that's a very simple way to do everything. Um, makes it really easy. I encourage you guys to go ahead and create your customized buttons. It really is one of those things where you want to do this for yourself. You want to get more traffic driven to your website. And I'll show you really quickly, just because I'm on my Instagram, what it looks like if you click through on here. Um, it's not going to be as easy to see, but I wanted to show you. So this is what it looks like on here. And you can see much cleaner, much easier to do, and it gets all of that traffic to your website. So I hope you guys found that useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am here to help, but I hope you guys have an awesome day and go create those Insta bios. If you need the help, I am offering that special for customized buttons for only $29. So you can go ahead and message me or email me at contact at I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you soon.